Hey, what's going on guys? This is Alan Frost by HD here and I am bringing you back with another video and this video is a little bit special. It's a brand new map that I have created with a bunch of help from my other friends and it is called Ultra Hardcore Survival. Yes, you may have heard of it from the PC. It was a mini game or like a, a survival game that a bunch of YouTubers created and they play with each other but I have recreated for the Xbox so we can enjoy it too over here on the Xbox Minecraft. And I'm sorry for having not uploaded in like three months. My computer broke down, so I had to get a new one. Got my new one about a month ago, but I wanted to bring this out to you guys, this map out, before I made another video for like a comeback video. So, hope this video does well for you, and I hope you really enjoy it. And I also hope that you enjoyed that little introduction video, because I put a lot of time into that. So, if you would please to show your appreciate, if you would please show your appreciation, please just hit that like button. <laughs> sorry about that, guys. But let's go ahead and get into this map, because it's going to take a bit to explain all this stuff. So you can read these signs if you want, but I pretty much repeat these signs over here. But the only thing that you do need to do is whenever you get into the map, throw away your maps. You have to make them to use, which you can throw them away right here. So let's go ahead and get into the map. So pretty much what UHC is, or Ultra Hardcore Survival, is there is four teams on the Xbox, 2v2v2v2. 2v2, 2v2. You only get one life. So once you die, you either have to leave the game or hit the spectate. But the goal is to go on surviving on hard difficulty, so you're like struggling to survive and be the last team standing wins. So PvP will be enabled 20 minutes after it, so which is like a grace period. So pretty much this is the sign, so once you die you have to leave the game. The goal is to survive and be the last team standing. There's a 20 minute grace period, so no killing until the time is up. And the cool thing about it is on the PC there's like 20 teams, but on Xbox you can have 8 players. But the cool thing about it is on the PC they had an actual border, which I have a working border. And they had a compass, which every 20 minutes it would show you where the nearest player is, which I have maps, and I know how to turn off maps and stuff. So pretty much all I'm going to do it is every 2 minutes for every 20 minutes, 1 minute at sunrise, 1 minute at sunset, I will inactive, I will, I will enable in-game gamer tags, which will activate the map so you can actually see where people are. And after that minute, I will deactivate the map so you cannot see where people are. And I'll do that 1 minute at sunset, 1 minute at sunrise. So that's going to be a really cool future. You have to make your own maps, your own compass, your own clock, and to know when the sunset and stuff is, a clock is recommended, or just be on the surface looking around, so that's a cool thing, and do not break the pixel art above spawn, that was created by my cousin Frosty Umbry, so please don't cheat, just have fun, I know it's resourceful, a lot of gold blocks, diamond blocks, we can see if you break it so you can be kicked instantly, and then you ruin the fun for everyone else, so don't be that person. So, but thank you guys, alright. Thank you is <laughs> my bad guys. The host will TP you to different areas of the map. You can find different loots and explore different biomes. So that's why I'm doing that. So the pretty much the coordinates of the four pods are right here. So you can like there's one pod this way, one pod that way, one pod this way. And then the four corners of the map, and there'll be an arrow showing you where the pods are. So you can get close to it, you would know where the pod is. So the host will TP you to them. So uh before you start and to start the game, you'll do right there. And the map's activated then, I already went over that and it's hard to kill for food we tried this and we died by hunger plenty of times so it's recommended to make your own food like bread and stuff and there's a hint to a place where you can just get unlimited food but it's really hard to get it so there's a it's really dark right there but it's there there's a text there look at it yourself in this map and the host of tpu that's there already so pretty much how the maps will work is i'll activate the maps after 30 minutes if you have a map you may use it to find people and after 30 minutes, the map will only be available for 2 minutes every 20 minutes. You may use golden apples, there was no strip mining. So that means if you're underground, you cannot just go strip mining to try to find diamonds. If you are underground, and if you hear a cave, you may mount around to find a cave. Only if you hear it. No exceptions. If you hear it, play legitly. I know it's so easy to cheat, but just don't. It would be so much more fun if you don't cheat. And make sure you're playing on hard. That's the most important thing, because it's ultra hardcore. <laughs> there is a chamber table at spawn. Since there is a small world size, and since there's only 8 players, I know the PC you have to make your own, but an Xbox is not enough people, so we can't do it as long. So if you can't find diamonds or anything, just come to spawn. But there is a risk of risking your life for coming to spawn. So let's next sign, next sign, next sign. <laughs> Okay, down here. So if you die, the host will give you fly and invisibility, and he will take off all of your privileges. That is right here. It's a tip. So reason he does that so you don't try cheating or going like going down getting diamonds to give it to your teammates. But you will have TP privileges so you can TP to your teammates and spectate, but you won't be invisible so you cannot so they cannot see you. So that's a cool thing. So you can actually spectate now. And I know you cannot stop heart regen on Xbox 360 like they did on the PC. So I'm um, increased the hunger depletion so you can struggle even more to get food. So you really have to get food to survive. 
And the really cool thing about this map is there's an actually working border which will shrink the map after an hour. Okay, I'm gonna go over this right now. After one hour, the border will shrink. There is a working border. See the signs to the right and says so sorry for all the signs there. But over here is the border mechanism. Okay, there's two borders in this. It's because of redstone issues. But the first border, which is the really cool border, is a regenerating cobblestone wall. Which means if you try to break its cobblestone, it regen. I mean, if you try to break the border, it will automatically regen its piece of cobblestone to keep the border up and running. And since there is mountains around the map, I could not make it all the way around the whole map. See, as you're over here. I had to have flat land because you see it has to be pretty flat for me to do it. So, but over here in the other spots there is mountains, so I couldn't do it. So I made for the other one a lava border, which means after one hour a lava border will come up from above and dispense down and create a lava border forming. So if you try going through the border, you're gonna die because it's lava. Duh. So, and the cool thing is that um, later on after I send this map out, I'm gonna update the border. So pretty much what I'm gonna do is make water come down first. And then place the making lava border come down onto the water, which will make a big obsidian wall. And now it'll just be sick, like having a big obsidian wall only spawn after an hour. Like, come on, that's that's awesome. So let's get on to it. It says it down here that I'm gonna update the border soon. Yeah. So it's, after one hour, the cobblestone ball, <laughs> the cobblestone wall will start, and the border will shrink to these coordinates. Just try to be in them if you don't remember them. And if you're in a cave still after an hour and you're not in the border, I will just TP you into the border right. Uh, in the cave still and then I'll go back to my spot so just don't cheat if you purposely go outside the border you will be kicked instantly because I will know because we will have maps and there will be a big red square for the border on the map so we will know if you're cheating or not so just don't cheat be in those boundaries or you will die as I just said and I'll update the border soon which I've already said so I'm gonna go ahead and get into the border now and start with the border and please if you have any questions or any uh, uh anything for me to update or any recommendations please tell me so I can update it as soon as possible so the first border we're gonna get into is a regenerate cobblestone wall which is a really good one so it's going to get down here so let's go ahead this is the timer if you want to make a video on the timer just please say something so but I, oh yeah, one thing I have to say now is I did not do this all on Xbox alone. I used Oprazel's LP's converter. As you see, it goes all the way down to the end and there's no way I can make that on Xbox alone. So how to use MC Edit and PC to do it. I did not cheat or anything. Like, I just did, I did it. On the map is all made by myself. But I'm just saying I did it in the PC too. I converted it to the PC and worked on the map too to make it faster so I can get this out for you now. <laughs> a lot of words. But let's go ahead and activate this. And it will start the regenerate cobblestone wall. And as you see, it is starting to build up right now. It's going to build up 12 blocks, and that's as high as pistons can push it. And then I'll be back whenever that does that, so I can show you how it regen its cobblestone. So be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I am back. And as you see how the border cuts off right here, it's because the lava border will follow up, and it will connect to right here. So, like... That's why there's a stop to there, so the lava border will come here. And the reason I didn't make it come, go ahead and start this way where it's flat, is because over here, as you see, it's starting to get up hilly, and I couldn't do it over there. It wouldn't be possible, so I just made this whole side of lava border. So let's go ahead and see, as it is up 12, and it goes all the way down. So if we just break cobblestone, like if we're trying to mine over, boom, automatically regenerate, and that is so cool. So if I'm just breaking these cobblestones, if I just go ham on it, it's just going to keep regenerating it, and boom. Like if I'm like, oh, I can just do this and get over it. Oh, nope, you can't do that. <laughs> it just regens it and it goes down. And it's just really sick how if you just break the blocks, it regens it. I think that's a really cool feature. So it kind of like prevents cheating in a way. I mean, it's TNT proof too, I think. So if you try blowing up a TNT, it's going to regen fast enough so it doesn't. And let's go ahead and get into the lava border to make this video not so long. But once again, if you have any recommendations or any comments or like any questions about this map, please ask and I will answer immediately and I will give you an answer and it would be awesome. So let's go ahead and this is the timer for it once again. And let's go ahead and get a redstone torch to start this bad boy. And it goes all the way around three sides. So it uh, connects up with the wall thingy the cobblestone wall so it's just pretty best on torch right here i guess and i just it looks like it's not activating but it is activating it's just glitchy because it's so big but as you see the lava border will activate all the way through here and this is glitched up right here but it won't do that thing it's because the repeaters right here i gotta do that i think wait nope wait, wait. okay it works when the thing is okay i can't do the redstone torch but when this activates it will activate all this redstone down to the end so all right, it's, it will do it. Just trust me. There we go. There we go. Now it's doing that. Okay. I don't know what just happened, but as you see, it activated the lava border and it looked all glitchy, but when it gets down to the bottom, it'll be fine. And you can't go through lava, obviously. And it goes like two of them. So it's awesome enough. And it made like two little lava borders. So you cannot go through it at all. No surviving through it. 
and that's cool it's gonna connect up with the cobblestone wall and it's gonna be over this like this gonna be like the center of it and the reason i did it right here and not in the actual center of the map as you see i'll show you the map right now why it's not in the center is because i wanted to make it more playable for you guys near right here where that border is like near the Right here is the best spot so I can have a little bit of forest and plain bombs. And the reason I didn't do up there in the bigger plain bombs because there's more mountains, not plains, and you don't want to fight in mountains because if we just knock them off the edge, you won. So you want to have a fair fight. So I did it over here in the spawn so you can like fight over here in these lands. And that's what happens when the border shrinks. And I wanted to be able to fight near this. Like, come on, this is just awesome. And sometimes it will glitch up and show like it's not fair. But really, it is. Look, it's like invisible blocks if you do enough of it. So I can't go through that at all. It's glitched up but that sheep is black i turned white sheep to black sheep that's awesome but please once again just do not cheat in this map i know it's so easy to cheat you could probably get a water bucket and go through the lava if you wanted to but just don't cheat just make it fun and i would know if you go or the host would know if you go through the border because as you see whenever all the lava falls right there where you see that little square it would be red square and it would be bright as day so we can see if you're outside the border or not so just don't cheat it's really obvious to see if you cheat like if you break the gold box up there like how are we not going to know the gold box are missing like come on dude just don't cheat make it fun don't ruin the game for everyone else's it's just fight like it's a really awesome map you get golden apples you can go to the nether you can get potions to help you out get strength potions it's an ongoing survival because going to the nether is a big risky thing because if you fall in lava you're out if you get attacked by blaze two hits you're out because it's on hard and they will hit you like they are strong really strong i've tested this out and played it it's really fun so just have fun do not cheat at all and the channel tables here at spawn just make it more fun just get enchant stuff and just be really op and just oh just last team standing wins it's a really fun game just try it out for yourself please if you like this video leave a comment subscribe and i am out